United States. The United States was the first nation to develop nuclear weapons through the Manhattan Project, a highly secret research initiative begun in 1942 during World War II. Led scientifically by J. Robert Oppenheimer, the project united top physicists at sites such as Los Alamos, Oak Ridge, and Hanford to weaponize nuclear fission. This effort culminated in the Trinity Test on July 16, 1945, the first nuclear explosion in history. Later that year, the United States became the only country ever to use nuclear weapons in warfare, bombing Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August 1945. These attacks hastened Japan's surrender, but caused massive civilian casualties and permanently reshaped global politics and warfare. Today, the U.S. possesses approximately 5,000 nuclear warheads, with about 1,700 deployed, and maintains a full nuclear triad. It provides a nuclear umbrella to allies, forming the backbone of NATO's nuclear deterrent. Russia Russia inherited its nuclear arsenal from the Soviet Union, which developed atomic weapons in response to the U.S. program during World War II. After successfully testing its first nuclear device in 1949, the Soviet Union ended the U.S. monopoly and accelerated a Cold War arms race that led to the largest nuclear stockpiles ever created. One of the most significant moments was the Tsar Bomba test in 1961, the most powerful nuclear weapon ever detonated. Today, Russia possesses approximately 5,500 nuclear warheads, the largest stockpile globally, with around 1,700 deployed. It maintains a full nuclear triad, ensuring second strike capability. Russia's nuclear forces are central to its strategic relevance, underpinning its status as a major global power and serving as a deterrent against technologically advanced adversaries. Nuclear weapons compensate for conventional limitations and remain a core pillar of Russia's military and geopolitical influence. China China developed nuclear weapons in the 1960s amid growing security concerns and geopolitical isolation. After the Sino-Soviet split and limited confidence in foreign security guarantees, China pursued an independent nuclear deterrent, successfully testing its first atomic bomb in 1964. From the beginning, China emphasized a smaller but survivable force rather than a massive stockpile, focusing on retaliation instead of escalation. Today, China is estimated to possess approximately 500 to 600 nuclear warheads, a number that has been rapidly increasing in recent years. It maintains a developing nuclear triad, with land-based missiles, submarine-launched ballistic missiles, and strategic bombers. China formally adheres to a no-first-use policy, stating it would only deploy nuclear weapons in response to a nuclear attack. Strategically, China's nuclear forces support its rise as a major global power, deter regional and global adversaries, and reinforce its long-term military modernization goals. France France developed nuclear weapons in the late 1950s and early 1960s to ensure national independence and security during the Cold War. Under President Charles de Gaulle, France pursued its own nuclear deterrent rather than relying entirely on foreign protection, conducting its first nuclear test in 1960 in Algeria. This marked France's emergence as an independent nuclear power built around deterrence rather than battlefield use. Today, France possesses approximately 290 nuclear warheads, all operationally deployed. Unlike some nuclear powers, France does not maintain land-based intercontinental ballistic missiles. Its nuclear forces, instead, rely on submarine-launched ballistic missiles and air-launched nuclear weapons carried by strategic aircraft. France's arsenal remains relatively small compared to the largest nuclear powers, but is highly modernized and designed for reliability and survivability. United Kingdom The United Kingdom became a nuclear power shortly after World War II, driven by security concerns and the desire to remain a major global influence. Building on scientific contributions to the Manhattan Project, the UK tested its first atomic bomb in 1952, becoming the third country to develop nuclear weapons. British nuclear policy has traditionally emphasized deterrence rather than battlefield use, maintaining a smaller but dependable arsenal. Today, the United Kingdom possesses approximately 225 nuclear warheads, with around 120 operationally available. Unlike the United States and Russia, the UK relies entirely on a sea-based nuclear deterrent, deploying its weapons aboard Vanguard-class ballistic missile submarines armed with Trident missiles. The UK has no land-based missiles or nuclear bombers. Its nuclear forces are closely integrated with allied systems while remaining under national control, reflecting a long-standing approach focused on survivability, continuity, and reliability, rather than sheer scale. Israel Israel is widely believed to possess nuclear weapons while maintaining a policy of nuclear ambiguity, neither confirming nor denying their existence. Its nuclear program began in the late 1950s amid regional security threats with major assistance from France in building the Dimona nuclear facility, believed to be the core of its weapons program. Israel is thought to have assembled nuclear weapons by the late 1960s without conducting a publicly acknowledged nuclear test. Israel's nuclear posture is often associated with the Samson option, 
an alleged last resort doctrine in which nuclear weapons would be used if the state faced existential destruction. Israel is estimated to possess around 90 nuclear warheads, deliverable by aircraft, land-based missiles, and submarines. Additionally, long-standing allegations link Israel to the diversion of enriched uranium from the U.S. Numec facility in the 1960s. While never officially resolved, the incident has been cited by former U.S. officials as potentially contributing to Israel's early nuclear capability. North Korea North Korea is the most recent country to develop nuclear weapons, pursuing its program in isolation and defiance of international pressure. Its nuclear ambitions trace back to the Cold War, but accelerated in the 1990s after the collapse of the Soviet Union and the breakdown of agreements with the United States. North Korea withdrew from the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty in 2003 and conducted its first nuclear test in 2006, followed by multiple tests of increasing yield. Today, North Korea is estimated to possess approximately 30 to 50 nuclear warheads, though exact numbers remain uncertain. It is focused heavily on missile development, testing intercontinental ballistic missiles capable of reaching the United States. Unlike other nuclear states, North Korea openly uses its nuclear arsenal as a tool of political leverage and regime survival. Its nuclear weapons are central to deterrence against foreign intervention and serve as a core element of its national identity and security policy. India India developed nuclear weapons driven by regional security concerns and the desire for strategic autonomy. Its nuclear program began in the decades following independence, with significant emphasis on civilian nuclear research before shifting toward weapons development. India conducted its first nuclear test in 1974, describing it as a peaceful nuclear explosion, though it demonstrated clear weapons capability. A second series of tests in 1998 officially confirmed India as a nuclear armed state. Today, India is estimated to possess approximately 170 to 180 nuclear warheads. Its nuclear arsenal is primarily designed as a deterrent against regional adversaries, particularly Pakistan and China. India maintains a developing nuclear triad, including land-based missiles, aircraft, and submarine-launched ballistic missiles. India formally adheres to a no-first-use policy, pledging to use nuclear weapons only in retaliation. Although not a signatory to the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, India portrays its nuclear program as restrained and defensive in nature. Pakistan Pakistan developed nuclear weapons largely in response to India's nuclear program, viewing them as essential for national survival and regional balance. After India's 1974 nuclear test, Pakistan accelerated its own efforts under the leadership of Abdul Qadir Khan, focusing on uranium enrichment. These efforts culminated in a series of nuclear tests in 1998, shortly after India's tests, confirming Pakistan's nuclear capability. Today, Pakistan is estimated to possess approximately 170 to 180 nuclear warheads making its arsenal comparable in size to India's. Unlike India, Pakistan has not adopted a no-first-use policy and emphasizes nuclear weapons as a deterrent against conventional military threats. Its nuclear force includes aircraft and land-based ballistic missiles, with ongoing development to improve delivery systems. Pakistan's nuclear weapons are closely tied to its regional security strategy and are intended to counterbalance India's conventional and nuclear superiority.